In this lesson, I'll show you how to determine the quantity of active ingredient from a diluted portion. I have two examples prepared and you'll find that to answer these questions effectively, it really helps to make an illustration along the way. So let's begin by reading question number one and I'll show you how to solve it. Question number one reads, how much silver nitrate should be used in preparing 50 milliliters of a solution such that five milliliters diluted to 500 milliliters will yield a one to 1,000 solution. And a footnote is that one to 1,000 means one gram of silver nitrate in 1,000 milliliters of solution. Sometimes when you first read these problems, it takes time to actually understand what they're asking. And this is why an illustration really helps. They want us to prepare a solution that's 50 milliliters. So draw a beaker and write down that it's volume which I'll represent with Q for quantity, is 50 milliliters. They want you to figure out the concentration of the solution given that when you take five milliliters out, so let's say that this little vial carries only five milliliters, and you dilute that five milliliters to 500 milliliters, it yields a concentration of one to 1,000. Now remember the formula we've been using for the past few videos, which is Q1, C1 is equal to Q2, C2. If we dilute this five milliliters, which I'll write down for Q1, and we don't know its concentration, so I'll leave it as C1. If we dilute it to 500, we end up getting a concentration that's one to 1,000, which means one over 1,000 whatever that is as a decimal. And as a decimal, that's 0 0.001. Remember, when we took this five milliliters from the stock 50 milliliters, the concentration of the stock solution should be the same as the vial itself, right? So if we find out what the concentration is of this, then we've figured out the concentration of the stock solution. So let's continue. If we solve for C sub one, it's really easy to do. Just multiply 500 with 0 0.001 and then divide both sides by five. You can use your calculator to help you out. 500 times 0 0.001 and then this value gets divided by five milliliters. And you get a concentration of 0 0.1. So the concentration of this little vial which we took five milliliters from the stock solution is 0 0.1. If that's 0 0.1, its concentration, then the concentration of this is also 0 0.1. Remember, they are asking how much silver nitrate needs to be in this solution so that these conditions hold. If you have the total quantity and you know the concentration, all you have to do is multiply Q and C together. Multiplying the quantity, the total volume, by the concentration will give you the active ingredient. So I'll write down this simple formula. Active ingredient is equal to the total quantity times the concentration. Multiplying 50 milliliters by 0 0.1 gives us a value of five. Now the units for this five comes from the concentration being a mass per volume. Notice that it was grams and milliliters. So that is grams per milliliter. The milliliter units cancel out leaving us with five grams of active ingredient. Let's try this technique of drawing out what's happening for question number two. How much in milliliters of a 17% weight per volume concentrate of benzylconium chloride should be used in preparing 300 milliliters of a stock solution such that 15 milliliters diluted to one liter will yield a one to 5,000 solution. So again, we have a solution that is 17% weight per volume. And from this, we want to make a stock solution that is 300 milliliters. So let's create another beaker here and we want the quantity of the stock solution to be 300 milliliters, such that when you take 15 milliliters out, 
let's draw a little vial. When you take 15 milliliters out and you dilute this 15 milliliters to one liter, which equals 1000 milliliters, I'll use that instead, it will yield a concentration of one to 5000 solution. So using the formula Q1 C1 is equal to Q2 C2, I'll write down 15 for Q1. Its concentration we don't know. And this gets diluted to 1000 milliliters. So I'm replacing Q sub two with 1000 milliliters and its concentration is one to 5,000. Use your calculator, one to 5,000 is the same thing as one over 5,000. And my calculator gives me a value of two times 10 to the power of negative four, which means 0 0.0002. All right, let's go ahead and find out the concentration of this little vial. Getting the concentration of that little vial will give us the concentration of the stock solution that is 300 milliliters. I'll multiply these out. So the value on our screen times 1000, and then we divide both sides by 15. And this gives us a concentration that's 0 0.013 repeating. That's the concentration of this little vial and that's also the concentration of this stock solution. You can now find out the active ingredient of the stock solution by multiplying Q and C together using the formula that I discussed earlier. So multiplying Q and C together, multiplying this value by 300, means that in this stock solution, there are four grams, four grams of active ingredient. It sounds like we've answered the question, but if you look back, it says how much in milliliters should we take out from this to guarantee that we get four grams of active ingredient? And remember, we know the concentration is 17% or 0 0.17. We want to get four grams of active ingredient. So I'll write down active ingredient is four grams. And using this formula again, let me rewrite it over here. I'll substitute what I know and solve for the unknown. So four goes in for AI, active ingredient. Q is what we're looking for, that quantity, and C is 0 0.17 grams per milliliter. Dividing both sides to solve for Q by 0 0.17 will give us our answer. 4 divided by 0 0.17 makes 23 0.5 milliliters. So we need to take 23.5 milliliters of a solution that's 17% of this active ingredient in order for us to make a stock solution that has the following parameters. And there you have it. That is how to determine the quantity of active ingredient from a diluted portion.